Hi friends, it's Miss Jane. Today I'd like to read to you a story called Lola Plants a Garden by Anna McQuinn, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Lola loves her book of garden poems. Her favorite poem is the one about Mary Mary. Lola wants to plant a garden. Mommy says there's room near the vegetables. Lola gets books about gardens from the library. She chooses her favorite flowers from the books and Mommy makes a list. They go to the garden store to buy seeds. Lola and Mommy make the garden. The seed packets mark where the flowers are planted. Lola will have to wait a long time for them to grow. Lola makes her own flower book while she waits. Mommy types the Mary Mary poem and Lola glues it in. Lola makes a string of bells. She finds shells and some old beads. She even makes a little Mary Mary. One day, Lola sees tiny green shoots. She pulls up weeds so the shoots can grow. Lola's flowers grow bigger. They open up to the sun. Daddy helps Lola hang her string bells. Lola finds Mary Mary a special spot. It's just perfect. Orla, Ben, and Ty are coming to see Lola's garden. Lola and Mommy make cupcakes and Lola wears her flower shirt. Mommy helps Lola with her hair. Lola's friends love everything about her garden. They share the crunchy peas and sweet strawberries that Mommy grew. Then Lola makes up a story about Mary Mary. What kind of garden will Lola plant next? Lola, Lola, extraordinary. How does your garden grow? With flower seeds and shells and beads and happy friends all in a row. Well, now it's finally warm and lots of people are planting flowers and gardens. And I thought I'd like to try too. You wanna to come with me? Let's go. Let's plant a garden inside. You'll need some cups, dirt, water. I'm using a spoon to help me move the dirt and some seeds and a thumbtack. I use the thumbtack to poke holes in the bottom of the cup for some drainage. I already did it in a plastic cup bowl. And what we'll do is, I'm gonna fill up, this is the messy part, fill up the cup with dirt. Almost to the top. I'll do it in this cup too. It's a lot of dirt, isn't it? I happen to decorate this cup, but you don't have to. I just thought it would be fun. And I happen to have some sunflower seeds. But maybe you have other seeds at your house or can find some at a store so we can get to them. Sunflower seeds come in all different sizes. These aren't too big, but I've seen much bigger ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one, two in here, sort of in the middle. And then I'm going to put two 
sunflower seeds on the side of this clear cup, maybe I'll get to see the roots grow. That would be fun. And now I'm going to add a little bit, but not too much water. Oops. Just like that. What else do plants need? They have dirt and they have water. You're right, they need sunshine. I'll put my cups of seeds in the window. Some people like to put a clear cup on top so it's like a greenhouse. You can if you want to. And then we have to wait a long time like Lola did. Seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 days to wait and see if something grows, a little green sprout. And then I get to draw a picture of what I see. And each day as it grows bigger and bigger, I can draw a new picture of what's growing. I can't wait to see your garden.